What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We know that both Microsoft Word and, of course, Adobe have their own PDF processing softwares. However, both of those could be pretty expensive if you actually go and choose the subscription version, since you kind of have to get Microsoft Word and everything else as well. And with Adobe, you kind of have to get like Premiere and all that in order to just get a PDF reader that you can actually go and edit and maybe convert PDF documents into other files out there. So with that said, how about this cool little application right here? This is from Wondershare. Also, thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. So as you guys can see, this is known as PDF Element Pro. It basically allows you to edit, convert, create, and of course combine PDF files. There's also a way to batch process, and there are certain PDF templates for you to go and use. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys how to go and use this. So this is another review that I've been working on. This is from Delight, and I'm actually going to go and open that up right here. As you guys can see, it does look pretty similar to Microsoft Word, but there are a variety of ways in which you can go and tweak this. So first of all, we have Home. So you can actually go and add things from files or add other files, other PDF files, and make them into one file. How awesome is that? I'm actually going to go and make this slightly smaller so you guys can see. Um, next off, you can go and mess around with the page settings to make the view a little bit better. I'm actually going to make this full screen so you guys can see better. Um, you can actually convert it to an MS Word document so you can take it and bring it into Word and then actually edit it. However, this is where it gets even better. Take a look at all the different things that you can actually go and convert this into. You can convert it into an Excel file, PowerPoint, image, text, EPUB, HTML, RTF, HWP, which I don't even know what that is. Is HWPX file as well but someone somewhere is probably going to get value from this right here so I'm actually gonna go and convert it to a Word document from my desktop and we're gonna take a look at that in a little bit finish so I'm gonna keep that there next off we're gonna take a look at view as you guys can see there are a variety of settings for that as well which is pretty convenient should you be showing a PDF document on a laptop in front of a projector with a group of people maybe it might make it easier you can also capture a specific part of that document sure Windows has a snipping tool but sometimes it can get a little tedious to get the exact area that you want so of course this actually has a built-in tool there's also a bookmark option for you to bookmark certain PDF documents now with that said guys this could be really useful for certain people who are using EPUB uh, files in here as well for example EPUB has hundreds and hundreds of pages right so you might want to simply add a bookmark to a certain page so you can go back to it and this might be some type of reading application as well then of course you can add comments so as you guys can see there are certain different text formats with different lines through them you can also add shapes as you guys can see I don't know what this particular shape is but it does look pretty cool um, it kind of I don't know what that looks like right now um, there's arrows that you can add you can actually draw in case you're feeling that while wow, I'm really messing up this document but you know what it looks gorgeous next off you can also go and add notes there's a typewriter option you can actually add a text box right here in case you need to add something like sub although you guys can't really see that and then of course there are certain stamps that you can also add as well from draft to not approved to sign here now these are very very important for business people when they're doing maybe tax documents or something of that sort or maybe mortgage documents and they're emailing a client trying to get their signature in a certain area but also need to remove that certain area for example if I were to go and place this right here later on maybe I'll be able, able to open this up and already have a signature on that little spot and then simply go and delete it how awesome is that in fact there's a whole hide annotations button how cool is that and then of course you can go and edit now this is where you have a bunch of options as well as you guys can see once again you can add text but you can also insert an image as well you can insert a link directly into it you can also insert a uh, OCR we detect OCR uh, has not been installed yet so this is gonna go and install a 279 megabyte uh, thing but thankfully I have super fast internet so I'm not too too worried about that let's see what OCR is all right, so let's take a look at what optical character recognition is. Now, I just figured out what this is, and of course, basically, it takes text that was scanned and it auto converts it into actual text that you can go and edit. Now, that can be useful in hundreds of different scenarios, so go ahead and check that out should you choose to use it. And once again, it does come with the uh, subscription that you of course go and get this software with so of course performing OCR this may take a few minutes because it's a large document but you know what it's not taking too too long so we'll just watch this happen and basically this means that I should be able to go and uh, go and add things to this PDF document now PDFs you know they're kind of like images you can't actually go and edit them but let's see how well this works because this should be pretty cool to see Alright, so just a second ago, this was a full-on PDF document. Now I should be able to go and edit certain aspects. How cool is this? So if I spelt embedded wrong, I can go and, I don't know, spell it correctly. Um, if I spelt something else wrong, I should be able to go and edit that. Now it's not 100% accurate. It might not be able to get every single part of it, especially if maybe there's something above it. 
But as you guys can see right here, I should be able to go and just highlight certain aspects and go and edit it directly from there. So that is pretty awesome. Um, it will highlight what you can go and change and what, of course, you can't go ahead and change. For example, there's a bunch of info right here that I can go and change. I'm going to set this to like 16. I'm going to make it bold. And yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this. Change the color as well. The options are endless. The last few things aren't too, too important. Of course, there's the page option where you can go and check out all the pages and, of course, get rid of certain pages from the PDF document. There's also a forum option. Now, this one is a bit more important. This is something interesting. It goes very in-depth and basically allows you to extract data and, of course, it can recognize certain forums. So we're actually going to take a little bit of time to go and check out what exactly this section is capable of. Now the reason for that is that this is meant to be used for professionals and not just the average person. See all the other options that we went over were maybe for the average consumer and they'll just go and mess around with their PDFs and they'll be like, okay, this was cool. This particular section is for small business owners and maybe even big businesses out there. It has data extraction, it has form field recognition, you can also go and edit forms as we just attempted to do and then you can actually add certain things to the forms like add checkboxes, um, extract data from graphs and there's also options to batch things. So basically. Um, there's a form filler option and basically this function means that small businesses can go and basically extract data from random custom fields maybe like graphs on their analytics on how their YouTube channel is doing right and then they can take hundreds of these scanned PDFs with a similar layout obviously and then they can take all of them and export them to one single spreadsheet how awesome is that now most of the features we took a look at so far were more aimed towards the average consumer since most people will have to do those types of things somewhere in the near future or sometime in their life, right? Assuming they use a computer. However, not everyone runs a small business, not everyone looks at big data, and not everyone is constantly tweaking and messing around with consumers' data. So as you guys can see right here, this is an option to basically have fillable PDF forms. Now there's two ways that this goes. First of all, it can actually extract data um, large amounts of data from scanned in PDF files. So if you scan in a piece of paper and it has people's names on it, or maybe it even has maybe their financial information on it, you can actually take that little bit of information. The form will actually recognize that this bit of information is inside of a box, and that box says maybe average income on it. And then, of course, it can actually go and batch all the files and export it directly into an Excel spreadsheet. How awesome is that? Now, the same goes the other way around. Say you need to make a random piece of paper with some boxes on it into an actual form that a client can fill out with their name, their phone, their email. Well, this thing can automatically figure out where exactly those spaces need to go. It will automatically insert little areas where the client can go and edit the boxes. And of course, they'll be able to easily put their names in. And this once again goes and saves time because let's be real, if you had to use Microsoft Word, you'd actually have to insert maybe text boxes and then each text box maybe wouldn't work with the other one. And we've all run into that issue in the past. So those are just very important things that are very useful for, of course, the average business owner. So as you guys can see, there are a few other options here, but these are pretty typical options for example you can add a checkbox um, you can also go and add certain bullet points in certain areas and resize those to whichever you need Finally, there's a way to protect documents as well. As you guys can see, this could be maybe a secretive document for a business who hasn't released their Wi-Fi light bulb yet. So what would we go and do? Well, you can actually mark it for uh, redaction. You can also search and redact it. You can also password protect it. And then actually there's a password management option as well. Finally, you can sign the document and you can place a signature in a certain aspect. So as you guys can see, I'm actually going to, um, you can actually import a digital ID from a certain file with a password backing that up. However, we're not going to go too, too in-depth because only a select group of users will actually need to use that. Something that more people will be using is the export option. So I'm actually going to go and jump into file and now I'm going to go and attempt to save as. Now you can save it to the cloud, you can save it to your PC, and of course you can save it to, um, you can actually browse and save it to any other maybe flash drive or anything of that sort out there. Now, if you guys recall, I already exported this document to Word earlier, so I'm actually simply going to go and look for that. And as you guys can see, it should be right. Well, it is on my desktop. However, that is the old option. This is the new document, so we should be able to just simply go and edit this directly inside of Word. And there you go, guys. It is converted to 100% Word document. It even recognizes images. How awesome is that? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you are in need of a PDF reader or a PDF extraction software. Go ahead and check out the link below. With that said, thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.